Hey guys, my name is Travis Saul Britton, head of content at Buzzsprout, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about probably the most important mixer to come out in the podcasting world, maybe ever, the Rodecaster Pro. So before we dive into everything that the Rodecaster Pro can do, let's talk about why it even exists. Why did Rode, a microphone company, decide they needed to get into the audio interface space when there are already a lot of established players out there? And the truth is, there really wasn't an elegant all-in-one solution for podcasting. As soon as you get over three microphones and you're trying to bring in phone calls, you're trying to add sound effects, you wanna add audio processing in real time, you just kind of have to cobble together like a Frankenstein's monster. Wires everywhere, connecting all these different devices to try and get all the features that you need. So Rode said, we can create something, an elegant all-in-one solution that will do everything any podcaster would ever need to do so that way you don't have to get all that extra stuff. You just buy one thing and it takes care of all of that for you. And after spending about 24 hours recording, editing, processing audio through the Rodecaster Pro, I'm really starting to fall in love with this mixer. I didn't think that I would. I thought it would be way overkill for anything I would wanna do. But the more time I spend on it, the more I become convinced that this really is a fantastic solution for a very specific kind of podcaster, which we'll talk about towards the end of the video. So let's jump into some of the really cool features that Rode has included in the Rodecaster Pro that are gonna make creating and editing every single one of your podcast episodes so much easier. So when I was using this to record four microphones at a time at both of the conferences I just went to, it was mainly working over here on the left side of the console. So you have your four microphone inputs, you have your volume that you can adjust, I have a microphone here plugged into one so you can see it reacting. And so this is how you control the volume depending on how loud or soft the person is that's speaking. And then if you click on the buttons corresponding to each of the microphones, the touchscreen gives you this really cool interface where you can adjust the audio settings. So for instance, if you're using a Rode microphone, they have created presets for each of them. So if you have a Rode pod mic, you can just hit Rode pod mic and you're done. It's gonna get the best audio quality possible out of your microphone and you don't have to do anything else. Same thing with a Procaster, an NT1, or if you're using a, a different brand, like we were running some Audio-Technica ATR2100s, I would just pick Dynamic, that would give us really good audio settings. Uh, they also have some advanced fields that you can toggle on and off. So these are typically things that you would do in your post-production as you're mixing down your final episode, but you can do them live as well. So if you wanna add compression, you can do that. If you wanna have a high pass filter, you can do that. And then also if you wanna kind of augment your sound or augment your voice, you can use these Aphex profiles, either the Oral Exciter or the Big Bottom, which are both really, really professional level uh, audio processors that you can apply as you're recording. So again, just taking one more step out of your editing process. But if you really just wanna capture the sound right out of the microphone, you can just turn off all processing and that's what you're gonna capture. There's also some other features as well. So if you wanna bring in a uh, Zoom call or a Skype call through a USB, you can do that here with this USB in. You can also, also connect the telephone, uh, like your cell phone via TRSS cable or Bluetooth. And then you have these really cool sound pads over here that you can record sound effects, your theme song, whatever you would want to use to kind of introduce segments or your show in general, you can pre-program them in here and then play the music mixed in live with the rest of your episode. Up here, you just have some headphone controls and that's it guys. All you have to do when you're getting ready to record is hit that giant record button in the middle of the console. You really can't miss it. So my first takeaway when I started using this was just how intuitive it is. But I'm a seasoned podcaster. I've been doing this for a long time. So I was really curious how easy it would be for someone who's never recorded a podcast episode before to get this all set up and actually start recording. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab somebody from the office who's never made a podcast before and see how quickly they can actually get up to speed on this. Well, hey guys, so I grabbed Marshall out of the office to help us with this challenge. Now, Marshall, Confirm for me that you've never actually used this before. I have never used it, it looks completely foreign to me. 
Awesome. Okay, so you heard it right from Marshall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give Marshall a really quick run through of what he needs to do for this challenge and then set him loose and see how quickly he can actually get this up and running and start recording his episode. Okay. Yeah, I think I got that. Uh, cool. All right, so let me let me reset everything. All right, so there's no there's no cheating. Marshall is going to plug into microphones, plug into headphones, apply the audio settings and hit record. And we're going to time how quickly he can do this, all right? So, Marshall, are you ready? I think so. Okay, yeah, great. Let's give it a shot. All right. So, I got a stopwatch here. We're going to see what we got. You ready to go? Yeah, let's all do right. it. And go. All right. I'm going to go And I'm going to hit record, and I think that that is correct. Less than 53 seconds. Whew. That was close. Very nice, I sir. I got it really close. Very nice, sir. Very nice. Sir. That easy. Thank you, Marshall. Absolutely. <laughs> so what do you think? Pretty easy to use? Pretty easy to kind of figure out, understand, intuitive? Uh, very easy. Um, I stumbled along plugging that in until I realized there were not four prongs, but three that you have to line up um, <laughs> like an idiot. And then <laughs> once I figured that out, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Um, I mean, the functionality here was really easy. And then just sliding the volume up made it, made it pretty simple. Awesome. Thank you, Marshall. If I can do it, I'm pretty sure anyone can. <laughs> awesome. Appreciate your time, man. Yeah, thanks. So now that you've had a chance to kind of get familiar with the Roadcaster Pro, you see how intuitive, how easy it is to use. Let's talk about who should buy this. Who should spend $600 to invest in the Roadcaster Pro. You might think $599, that's a luxury item. Is that really something that I need? Well, here's three reasons why you should purchase the Roadcaster Pro. If you record three to four people consistently with your podcast, you definitely need to consider the Roadcaster Pro, especially when you compare it to other options that will allow you to mix four XLR microphones into a USB interface or into an SD card, you're gonna start getting in the same price range anyways. So go ahead and get all the extra features that come with the Rodecaster Pro and just invest, invest a little bit more for what you're going to need. The second reason you should get the Rodecaster Pro is if you want to live stream or incorporate phone calls into your podcast because this just makes it so easy to do that. You don't have to get extra gear. You don't have to have cables running around your desk. It's all in one, it makes it really easy and if you're not an audio engineer and you don't wanna to have to mess with all of that but still have the benefit of having those features, the Rodecaster Pro is gonna be for you. And then if you're the kind of podcaster that has the resources to invest in something that you never want to have to upgrade from, this is gonna be perfect for you. Because not only is Rode put out this fantastic interface, but they're always updating it. They released a firmware update to add some more features just recently. And so, so think of this as like a Tesla USB mixer, right? So if you have a Ford Escape, what you get is what you get. But with the Tesla, they're always updating it, always adding new features, improving it. That's what Rode is gonna do with this Rodecaster Pro. So you will never have to upgrade this mixer unless you really decide later down the road you want something at a super professional level. What do you think about the Rodecaster Pro? Is this something you're gonna consider for your podcasting setup? I would love to know. Just leave a comment below this video and, and I'd be curious about your thoughts. Uh, definitely wanna say thank you to Rode for giving us this sample so we could test it out for you, let you know what our honest feedback is. And uh, you know, if you're not subscribed already to the channel, definitely make sure that you do because we're gonna continue to put out more videos like this that are designed to help podcasters no matter how many people you have listening to your show. You know, here at Buzzsprout, we're really passionate about the indie podcaster that's just getting started, that's trying to make an impact and to share the things that they're passionate about. And so in the future, we're gonna make more videos to help you be more effective at doing that. But thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, keep podcasting.